Hey guys, um, a lot of my videos have been on math so far, so um, I decided to do a science video. Um, a lot of my uh, students and parents ask, how do I study for science? Um, math is pretty easy because you can just go over the math concepts, but um, how can we study for science? So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on some ideas for how to study. Okay. Alright, so what I like to do is I like to get note cards. And uh, we do vocabulary in class, but we do them in our math journal. So, since the math, uh, sorry, science journal, um, since the science journal doesn't always come home, um, it's a, a good thing you can do is use your science study guide and some note cards. So, let me show you what I mean. This is the science study guide that we use at Sci Fair, and this is a great, great resource. But the students don't always get a lot out of just reading it. So making flashcards for them to reuse over and over and they can practice when they're on the bus, they can practice uh, before they go to bed, anytime uh, during the day. These are great. So what you can do is you get indi index cards and your study guide and let's see right now we're studying about plant life and it's part five, plants and animals. So what they can do is they can take their vocabulary list, here's the vocabulary list, and they can make their own note cards. So what they would do is, and students love to use pens and uh, markers and all that stuff, so if you let them use pens, they're more likely to do it than with a pencil, just a little tip there. So the first one we're gonna do is the root. So you're gonna write the vocabulary word really big on one side, flip it over, and write the definition. The part of a plant that holds the plant in the ground and takes in water and minerals. Now, when you're studying with your student. The biggest mistake I see is that they hold up this part and say, okay, what is this? And then the student says, oh, well, that's easy. That's the root. To make it more difficult, what you can do is give them this side and say, tell me what this means. Tell me what this part does. And they have to remember all the things that the root does. So that's a really, really great way. Another thing that you can do is to draw a picture. So you can have them draw a picture of a plant and they love doing this because what kid doesn't like art, right? All right, so they have, they can draw the root and then they can draw a big arrow pointing to this and a box like that. What is that? What part is it showing? And then on the back, they can write root. A lot of the test questions that we have um, are uh, ones that show pictures. So this is a really uh, great way to do that. So that's one way that you can study for science using your study guide. And you know, in the study guide there's also you know, pictures. So if you wanted to draw each one of these pictures as a, um, you know, each one of these pictures on the card and then have seed on the other side, that would be fine. Or even if you wanted to draw, you know, seed, germinate, sprout, seedling, adult, and then have them do like a put them in order game. That that would also be neat. Or even you can see this is kind of broken up. They could have that and then put them put them together and match them to the different parts of the plant. So that's an idea. That's how you you can use your study guide rather than just reading. Another thing that you can use is if they come home, you might see them come home with these workbook sheets. And one thing you can do is have them write stuff on the note cards from here. So maybe they want to draw um, this out and have, and you can have them relabel that. Or they can have a card on the needs of seeds and then have what seeds need on the back. All those kind of things. That's another way that you can do that using the you know resources that we've already give, given to them. So um, those are some ideas for studying for science if you're curious and if you have any questions of course you can email me. My email address is Sarah, S-A-R-A-H dot page, P-A-G-E at C-F-I-S-D dot net. Thanks. Bye.